again, we're not going to be able to get too much of a resolution because this game is from over 20 years old. This is Bad Mojo, a very trippy and atmospheric adventure game that has you controlling a cockroach. And you're in for an experience here. I'm not going to say it's a good or bad one, but you're just in for one here. All my life, I've felt helpless, cheated, stepped on. I was always the little man, the square peg, the forgotten one. But that night, everything was gonna change. I was tired of just sitting around, accepting my fate. A rat hole apartment, a dead end job. So I decided to do something about it. Because this is monitor capture now, unfortunately, I, I can't show plan. the attack here. My destination untrackable. The stolen cash untraceable. Oh, I simply yet. disappear into the night. But of course there was a hitch. A fly in the ointment, or should I say roach? Good old FMV. My bags were all packed and ready. Tickets, passport, a change of clothes. I was no longer the victim. This time, I was in control. <laughs> the fly clock, By sunrise, clock edition, yeah. I'd be on a plane to Mexico. With a big smile on my face. And a small fortune nestled at my feet. That's some good acting here. For if it wasn't for my idiot landlord, I'd be there right now. Sipping margaritas and basking in the warm glow of a job well done. Don't you love FMV style games, folks? Who is it? Who do you think it is, sweetheart? Your fairy godmother? Open up, Sands. I know you're in there. You got some nerve coming up here at this hour, Eddie. Where's my freaking rent, Sams? You'll get the rent in the morning. Your rent's three days late, I'll take it now. now! Don't push me, old man! I said you'll get it in the morning! Looks like you're packing up for a trip. You skipping out on me? Yeah, I'm skipping out. Look, if I pay you now, will you get the hell out of here and leave me alone? Sure, sweetheart. Sure, I'll leave you alone. All right, now go back downstairs to that roach-infested hovel you call a room, and don't bother me again. It's an awful lot of money to have laying around in this neighborhood, and your door's open. Maybe next time, you might want to lock it, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, That's long a good laughing. one. That's good advice, Eddie. Oh, don't worry, it's about to get weird. Er. <laughs> Lock it. No, they're not. Uh, and he's asking, are the graphics actually this good? Oh, here we go, folks. Here you are. Something crazy happened when I looked at that necklace. That strange locket that was supposed to be my mother's. A weird feeling 
like a twisted spell. Bad mojo. My brain reeled, my knees buckled, and then there was black. The warm and somehow comforting feeling of darkness. A long and perilous detour into the night of my soul. This is actually going to look once we get out of the FMV. turn all sound off if that's better for you but yeah unfortunately this is beyond this is before the days of sound control in vi in video games so a little thing there now unfortunately as a cockroach I am very weak to just about everything Yeah. I think I have an idea. You're going to see my screen again. I'm going to turn down the gain pretty low and see how it sounds for you folks. Is that any better? What the hell? Hi, Mod. I apparently broke the game. Thanks, folks. You just made me break the game by accident. <laughs> Curse you for wanting uh, decent sounds. I'm going to, I hate to do it, but I have to. Nah, we only have a few moderate. We only really have like one moderator. We don't you really need too much. All right. It's still very loud in my ears though, so just give you guys a heads up. So as I was saying after that crazy introduction, we are playing as a cockroach stuck inside a New York apartment building. 
and our only mission is to get back to our body. Oh look. Let's see what we have here. Of course I can't walk on liquid. There's also multiple endings in this game if you would believe it. But yeah, one of the challenges of this game is just figuring out where you're supposed to be going. Oh yeah, it's this. It's time for another FMV. The wind whale will suck you into the belly of a beast. Its blowhole will catapult you to the south and to the east. One way there is peril, hardship, and dismay. One way brings you closer to the Dominican cachet. <laughs> but there is another option, another clever tack. You may evade the wind machine with a bold high wire act. Yeah, this game is very trippy if you haven't guessed it by now. And we can be killed, too, by the way. Okay. That's that way. Where the hell am I now? Uh oh. Oh, you don't want. There's a uh, dark lab talking about they picked a cockroach. If you watch these special features of this game... Uh-oh. I think I'm dead. Yeah. There is some... They talked about the story of the lead designer having a very horrible experience with a cockroach. Maybe, Indy. All the games I'm gonna play are super trippy. Ew. Cockroaches. Oh. No, not really. And he does make you feel bad about bugs. Touch the uh, burn end of it. I think we're dead. Oh no. Thank you, Oscar. Cockers like to drink from your lips when you're asleep. I should have saved right there, too, before that craziness happened. Okay, so we go up here. I should be able to skip these cutscenes. And each area in the house is basically its own little world. So this time, I'm gonna go up. I'm also controlling this with my arrow keys. Which can make it a little hard. Oh, look at that. We could as when we asleep. Yummy protein. Thank you. Maybe I can climb. 
time on this thing? Nope. Well, so we don't have a choice. And again, the music is very trippy as well. The idea is I have to again turn that cigarette. Uh, let's see. Talking about eating crickets and uh, cockroaches. Hmm. Have to get up there somehow. go in but they don't come out. of our friends here to get across. supposed to be doing with this thing right now. Mm. I think we're supposed to bring this down to that guy. You have no idea how annoying it is playing this game using arrow keys. That's true, Dark. If Cockroach were really this intelligent, it would be fright this that would be frightening right now, yeah. Peter would have a field day with this one. Uh, that's true, they will survive. We'll survive a nuclear apocalypse, right? Is there radiation resistant? Come on, you. <laughs> this is 
you folks watching this recorder right now, you're kind of lucky you're not seeing the chat. We're talking about eating all manner of bugs. Oh my god. thing is supposed to go. <laughs> right, and it's another snack. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Okay, that's a good sign. Why won't you move? Why? What are we supposed to do with this thing? What is this thing anyway that I'm pushing? And going back to an original comment from earlier about if this was intelligent, this would be horrifying. Well, consider we're playing as a man stuck inside of a cockroach. This is actually quite freaky. FMV, so all the screens were basically trying to be as faux realistic as possible with the characters doing it. Could be. But then I can't move it there. anything up either. I, 
I cannot move this thing down. It just will not go. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Whew. Oh, don't worry. It's about to get even creepier. I want to save the game here because something's about to happen. What if we go to the left? friends. So this is more of the environmental storytelling here. Alright, we made it to the radio. sleeping pills. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Excellent cutscenes for a 20 year old game about cockroaches. Yep. Where the hell am I? There's also, I think, a uh, director's commentary, too. I 
with me here tonight. Take a screenshot either. Basically, we need to get out of here, and to do that, I need to figure out some way to get these pipes. Mr. Petito, oh, here we go. your wife's going into labor. Doctor, I think she's in trouble. Get me a tube of blood out of her eye. Jesus. There's only some blood here, by the way, folks, so heads up. The beast are dropping, we're losing her. She's gone. Damn it. All right, save the baby. I'm going to cut. All right. I see you. That looks like a very fake baby, doesn't it? One of these days we can play a uh, seventh guess. Mr. Petito, oh. your wife's going no, no, into no. labor. There we go. Are you getting only onto the cockroaches, El Gordo? Alright. What do we have in here? Lotto tickets. 1995. <laughs> Where am I? Oh. oh, and that cat that you saw earlier, he will play a role in this. Don't you worry about that. I should say. Oh uh, yes, yes I can. Uh, yay! All right, we're on the bed now. Oh look. That old money hit underneath the mattress. Oh, hey, bug, get back here. Maybe 
gotta find some way out of this damn room. I did beat this game a very long time ago. I think I bought this maybe 10 years ago, the original PC re-release of this. Okay, there's this pillow. Maybe there's a clue on the pillow? being over 20 years old, too. Tell that good mystery element to it. The only reason why I felt it was okay to play an adventure game on the stream is that, again, this is a 20-plus year old game. So, at this point, I figure everybody who's gonna buy it already has. Bugs, give me the direction. How do I get down anyway? Yeah, it's very disorienting. What is this? Oh, wait, I think we found it. There's some evil chewing gum. Where the hell am I anyway? I think we're on a table. Hey. Okay, now we're on the wall. Okay, so then this has gotta be the underside of the table. There's the radio. Alright, there we go. Oh, now I remember. There we go. <laughs> you guys are gonna love this part. Although I'm sure everyone watching this live right now probably gets what's about to happen. This telltale in your style of puzzle solving. Hello, Shadow. Welcome to the trippiness. sleep to save his life, he kind of got knocked out very quickly. Alright, money is going. Wow, that was quick. Alright, that's what we need to do. So the coins on the table... Or, I'm sorry, on the floor... Should allow us to cross now. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly, Dar. The use of photographs make it very realistic. Now we just need to get ourselves. Where were those coins? 
Yep. This is an adventure game where we are a cockroach. Uh oh, what was that? We probably don't want to go into the. Uh... Oh! Okay. Oh, okay then. That just happened. As I was saying, we need to find our way to where those coins all fell. Here's his bed. We can't climb up that. To zone the private suitcase. Alright, so here's where the money fell. There we go. Mr. Petito? No, 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 no. Your wife's going into labor. Now, I can climb up. Alright, we did. We beat the first level. Do not fear me, little one. <laughs> I am your guide and friend. <laughs> Do not loathe your appearance. <laughs> it is merely a mask through which truth may be conveyed. Ask yourself who you are. And look all around you, for you are there, and there is another who is part of you. A great fire burns in the cellar of your heart. Be careful and wary of your noxious intent. Mm -hmm. Alright, we made it to level two, the bathroom. So now if I get killed, we will we can actually warp to this area going forward. Alright. Now where are we going? Oh. Not paint. Say I had to paint the bathroom. What's this? And basically, all the bugs are spirit guys. This room has deeper meaning beyond the sacred rat. Watch the special screening outside the mirror crack. Tobacco leaves are smoking atop a porcelain god. If the paper bridge is stoking, it will rouse the sleeping guard. <laughs> that is a clue for the end of the game. We have to get to that mirror somehow. Oh, hey. But now our friend should be showing up soon. Okay, we're on the sink. Oh no, wait, we're still on the toilet. This is a great game to play when you're trying to give directions to people. Just go on the toilet, hang left by the cabinet, and you're good. You can actually read the paper. Mm -hmm. 
I'll let you guys try and read it. Or a screenshot if you want. Oh, hello. Uh, this game takes place in uh, California. There are no items to pick up, obviously. Because unlike um, playing Darksiders, our little cockroach here doesn't have a magic inventory space. Hmm. I wonder if I just stay on this. That would actually probably raise, probably wouldn't raise too many questions in this game, considering how weird it already is. There's our paint. There's our mystery coin. I believe it's just going to be a shortcut back. Yeah. This is our fast travel, folks. Take that, Dark Souls. You think you're so clever with your bonfires? I use a sewer grating. So beautiful looking, isn't it, folks? What's this? Oh! Strange medicinal elixirs, pills and creams and charms. A cabinet of bewitchers, protection from bodily harms. Enter the Razor Graveyard above the Great Rat King. Heed me, the modest ant bard, and avoid his deadly sting. You need to start an avalanche to cause a minor jolt. You will not get a second chance, so push the carriage bolt. Okay, then. There's only really three actors in this entire game. Our main guy, Eddie, and that mysterious woman. Now, where are we? Oh, we don't want to fall in the toilet, folks. Hmm. We have to climb the plunger. Can I even reach it? That's the question. Alright, this is where he came from. What is this thing? <laughs> There's a razor blade. Oh! Dun -dun. I don't think we want to go near that thing, right? Uh, there's a trap. There we go. Look at that. 
Those are some evil eyes, folks. Alright, we made it to the sink. There's the mirror. Again, the detail is really incredible thanks to the photorealist or the photorealism graphics. Okay. We are inside. Ooh, get back there. There's some pills. Hey, Epsom salt. <laughs> This is Bad Mojo Redux, Ether. Where am I here? Pompeii. Link East. Got all these imaginary names. Here it is. King is dead. So now he's gotta get out of here. Oh. But you weren't trying to see this, folks. does not sound like a toilet. I'm sorry. It sounds like, like a space engine. And the Sakaur is actually very important. For when we get to the end of the game. Ah, there it is. Yep. <laughs> If you think that's the worst thing you're gonna see tonight, Ether, you are in for a very rude uh, awakening here. For anyone who doesn't like um, animal violence, you may want to look away for the next few seconds. Oh. has been finished. The Rat King lies dead, and with it may your fear die as well. Fear is the great inhibitor you must conquer before you can cross the threshold of awareness. <laughs> the means to solve any dilemma lie at your disposal. Remember, where there is fire, there must be smoke. Answers smolder in the recesses of thought and on the precipices of great fountains. Thank you, game. Alright, we made it to level 3. The game is actually not that long. But it's a trippy thing nonetheless. Can I get a time check from chat? How long have we been playing Bad Mojo for? Because I can't check without leaving the the screen and everything. Where are we going anyway? Apparently we're in the kitchen. Oh. 
doesn't like walking with mirrors. of fire, a stainless room. I'll help you conspire to trigger the spoon. <laughs> a great metal grinder, the teeth in the drain. I'll help you to find her without any pain. Thank you, mysterious lady, once again. This is a very use uh, useful New York apartment, isn't it? Uh, don't want to walk on the grease. the right way. What would that guy's doing? We'll probably wrap up on Bad Mojo in a few minutes and move on to our third game. I don't know if you guys want to see more of it here on the stream again. This is an adventure game, so it is not a long title by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, did you cross it? That roach is OP. Okay, so this is the vent. This is our fast travel once again. We don't want to go that way. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh! Fatality right there, folks. Finished me off. All right, so don't go that way. Take care of the cat in the end, maybe. I believe they said there's like 800 photo rendered screens in Bad Mojo. So, yeah, there's a whole lot of uh, scurrying around here. That cat is causing nothing but trouble. Throw all that grease. Come on, buddy. Hmm. 
if I remember... What the hell was that? If I remember, I need to find a way up onto that stove. This is where he came from. Ooh. Hope that's ketchup. Ooh, what the heck? Huh. Tomato sauce. out here. Where'd you come from, buddy? Yeah. Where the heck am I going? Okay, that's a wall. Sometimes you just gotta find that right interaction point. Am I actually on the floor right now, or am I on a wall? I have no idea. I want to say I'm on a wall. Sorry about that, folks. Where the heck am I going? If I go down, we know that cat is going to get me. It's actually... if I think this is one of the great things about this game. It actually feels more disturbing having that cat kill us in this game than would like watching happen in real life. Oh, wait. I think I found it. There we go. Made up. Where the heck am I going now? This is very unsanitary. There's some hot peppers. That's a lot of rice. Ooh, seafood gumbo. Anybody else getting hungry? Going to chilies. Apparently, apparently, chilies are bad for cockroaches. <laughs> now, for more mystery lane, we need to do something about this garbage disposal. Thank you, Oscar. I'm Too late for us, as we Savior. Speak. Our lives are at an end. But continue your behavior with another hapless friend. Fire bars your entry. It will not let you pass. Save the crippled sentry. Breathe the noxious gas. Okay, then. Good enough. I hope everyone got that. Alright, but I think it is time to move on to our third and final game of the evening. Again, this is certainly a trippy one. 
And if you get the GOG or PC edition, there are develop, uh, director's commentaries, where the inspiration came from, stuff like that. Uh-oh, get off the fish. Wait, can't get up there. Ride the spoon. Oh, oh. Where the hell am I? More cigarettes. There's a pepper. Or a pepper shaker. Hmm, bacon. Anybody want some bacon? that stove somehow. I'm sure none of you watching this live will have any cockroach related nightmares tonight, right? spoiling things too much, I hope you guys are noticing some of the effects we're having in this place, because that actually is a major part of the story. Can't go that way. Turn the thing off. chili? Anybody at all? Alright, we turn the pilot light out. Now, 
there we go. Chili's uh, too spicy for me. I'm more of a sweet guy myself. Blazing Cajun. Uh oh. Almost got killed. find the solution in like the next 15 seconds we're gonna move on to our last game before I just sit here and play this whole thing It's definitely way too spicy for me. And he's talking about eating jalapeno uh, chili peppers, or what was it? Uh, habanero pepper chips, I'm sorry. I have to make sure to actually save my game though, because there are no quick saves here. something in the oven. thing. I know I keep saying that. I've been here. That's why I turned it off. This will take me up into the machine. But with that said, though, it is definitely past our time for sure. So we're going to head off for Bad Mojo. You folks watching live, we're going to move on to our third game of the evening. 